outside. He can hurt you bad. His weaknesses are very, very few. All right, we're set for the numbers, Bobby, as we go to the tail of the tape. Tua is five years younger. Tua gives away five inches in height. A whopping ten and a half inch reach advantage for Sullivan. But don't let that fool you. Tua's arms are short, but they're powerful. Tua's heaviest weight ever, up 15 pounds from his last fight. Sullivan down 14 pounds from his last fight. We'll give you the fight time weights in a second. Here are the key rules. No standing eight, no three knockdown. Fighter cannot be saved by the belt any round. Accidental headbutt occurs before the end of the fourth. No contest after the end of the fourth. We go to the cards. Fight time weights to it the same. 253. Didn't gain or lose. Sullivan 238, a plus six. So here at the MGM Grand Garden getting set for the main event. To a Sullivan. Let's get the official introductions from our ring announcer, the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen from the City of Entertainment, the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada, we welcome you to our featured bout of the evening, brought to you by America Presents, matchmaker Thomas Brown, in association with Showtime, Championship Boxing, the MGM Grand, and Budweiser, the undisputed king of beers. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the International Boxing Federation, along with the Nevada State Athletic Commission. The chairman is Dr. Elias Gon. Commissioners Amy Ayub, Glenn Carano, Lorenzo Fertitta, and Dr. Luther Mack. The executive director is Mark Ratner. Introducing to you are three judges scoring the bout from ringside, all from Las Vegas, Nevada. Chuck Jumpa, Bill Graham, and Patricia Jarman Manning. And introducing to you the third man of the ring, our referee in charge of the action, Joe Cortez. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, it's showtime! Introducing to you first, on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, is the challenger. Entering the ring, wearing gold trunks with red trim, fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, by way of Gulfport, Mississippi. He weighed in at 232 pounds. His record stands at 35 wins, six losses, one draw, one no decision, and one no contest, with 25 of his wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's challenger, Please welcome the former IBF Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion, Obed Sullivan. And his opponent across the ring is the defending champion on my right, fighting out of the red corner, entering the ring wearing black trunks with white trim, hailing from South Auckland, New Zealand by way of Samoa. His weight, 253 pounds. His record stands at 35 wins, one loss with 30 big wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the explosive USBA heavyweight champion and the IBF intercontinental heavyweight champion, currently ranked the IBF number one heavyweight in the world, introducing the Tua man, David Tua. Once again, a referee in charge of this bout, Joe Cortez, now to give instructions. All right, Tua. All bet. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in our dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. Keep those punches up. I want it hitting after the bell. Give me good sportsman like conduct. Understand? These are still good. These punches are still good right here. All right? Give me a good, clean fight. Remember, guys, I'm fair, but I'm firm. Understand? All right, punch him up. All right. All right, David Tua, as you can see, Tyson-esque in build, muscular, strong, straight ahead, the fighter, busy, swarming, heavy-handed puncher, very aggressive hooking style with that explosive left hook, exceptional power with a good chin, pretty good qualities, known to jump on his opponents early, 13 of his 30 KOs in the first. Obed Sullivan went on his game, he's smart, well-schooled, major assets of boxing ability, defense, 
Has a pretty good chin, but lacks the big time speed and quickness. One punch, power, stamina, and he cuts. Obey's gonna have to establish that jab immediately and get at least a small pound of flesh. To get Tua up, hit him with a right hand, stuff something there, and make him worry. And Tua looking to make a major statement here. He just doesn't want to win. He wants to win impressively. I don't think I've ever seen legs on a fighter that big. That looks like the foundations for the Golden Gate Bridge. I've never seen anything that big on a fighter. Bobby's got big legs, but nothing like that. No, and I'll tell you what, they are really big. I've seen steel curtains are small. Three steps, and here comes David Tua, winging away left, right. Obed's in trouble, and down he goes. Left uppercut on the inside, Four, Steve. Almost lifted five, him off his feet. Six, and seven, he's not getting up. Eight. He comes down about 19 ten, or 20 it. seconds in. Maybe he knew something we didn't know. I'm not sure John Ruiz wants to do that again. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm after to see that display. That was murder. Boy, that was so fast, so quick. What the quick hands and what powerful hands for a big man. Can you imagine a fight with Tyson and Tua? What would that generate? Oh, that I would think be that an would... atom bomb exploding in the middle of the ring. I think that would that would break all records. I mean, I think that is a fight that people now got to holler for. Those two guys in the middle of the ring will be a huge huge uh fight love you, Mom. an unmerciful barrage by that man david Tua, who just came out and did the job within seconds i just got a new bottle of water to sip through this fight and i didn't even get it open my goodness david Tua makes quick work of obed Sullivan. he comes inside and Sullivan gets caught on the inside Right under here is a left hook, left uppercut that almost lifts him off his feet. It's a rising left hook or left uppercut. And Tua, look at, you see the legs we talked about. Him. That's the power, that's the foundation. You know, He's driving with those legs. Bobby, looks like he was already gone when he got the uppercut. Because look, look, see. That's the first one, there's the second one. See the uppercut? There were two, there were yeah. two. It looked like he didn't need the second one. He was already going down. What power, what power. What, what's the ones where he just drops his, his, his gloves? Now right there, he's through, he's through. The next one wasn't necessary. You no, know, I've talked about it many times. Speed times mass equals destructive power. A bullet kills you because of not its mass, but how fast it's going. If a cannonball could fly at the speed of a bullet, it would go through about 30 buildings. These fighters, Mike Tyson, David Tua, that generate that kind of speed. A guy like Ibiabuchi, big, he's strong, he generate that kind of speed, are brutal and not powerful. Are you ready? Well, man, well, I tell you, Lennox Lewis and uh, Holyfield and, and the bunch better take a, a warning. They're in for trouble when they get in with this guy. It's going to be an interesting year for this man. I think it's safe to say that Tua made a statement tonight. The yeah. throw in Samoa, the Terminator, whatever you want to call him. He terminated matters tonight rather briefly, telling the heavyweight division that he is a major player. We call that unique discrimination with extreme prejudice. Right. Well, he uh, announces to the world he's ready for a, a world title shot. He says he's lined up uh, his next fight already, July 29th, versus that great fighter known as TBD. He has uh, made it abundantly clear that he wants Lennox Lewis. Uh, that could happen uh, in November, assuming Lewis uh, gets by both of them. I was just slightly concerned for two at 253 that he might be carrying just a little extra weight. And Sullivan got in a little bit of a groove and got him past rounds three or four or five. But I also knew the power was there and I wasn't really worried about that, that part of it. Well, he put all that weight behind those punches. And let's go up to Jimmy Lennon Jr. for the official work. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 51 seconds in round number one. Our referee in charge, Joe Cortez, reaches the count of 10. He's the winner by way of knockout and still champion, the Tua man, David Tua. Well, not quite as fast as the John Ruiz fight, but awfully close. Tua now goes to 36-1 and one with 31 knockouts, remains the IBF Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion, just for the record. Meanwhile, Obed Sullivan drops to 35-7 and seven and 1 with a no contest and a no decision. He has now dropped two of his last three. But it was all about David Tua here tonight. Let's go up to Jim Gray in the ring. Jim. All right. Thank you very much, Steve. Well, David... That was uh, probably much easier than you had anticipated, correct? Well, uh, first of all, five tailor two uh, when we need a longer. Some way, that's why I yell him and woe to five tailor with a boy. Translate, please. 
Well, it's basically, I just thank God for this great victory. Uh, all glories and victories are his. And uh, I knew basically that uh, he's a soldier, he's a warrior. I knew he was going to come out and fight. But um, I had down in my mind. I tried two uppercuts off. like that you couldn't yeah. have anticipated, right? I mean, I mean, I knew that uh, the, the minute I was going to hit him, you know, it was going to be all over. So, uh, you know, I just had to come out here and display. Um, here it is. We can basically show the whole thing. Tell us what's going on. Well, I set him up with an overhand. I knew he was going to come in and try to uh, uh, throw the jab because I think everybody looks at the Rockman fight. You know, that's the thing. But you can't see what's behind. You know, you got to look at the president. Does this, you know, does this really prove anything? I, I mean, you've been inactive for 223 days, well, and some would say maybe 224 after this little sparring session. Well, the, you know, there's a lot of talk about David Tua is going to be rusty and all that. But, you know, the only thing about that is that uh, David Tua is David Tua, and whatever, you know, makes David Tua feel comfortable and works for him, you know, I got to do it. But uh, all I can say is that um, you know, I'm ready for Johnny Reese next week. Whoever. You've, off you've offered both the... Uh, promoter and and Showtime to come fight in Holyfield's place, haven't you? I mean, it's a pleasure to be on Showtime once again, and uh, America Percent is doing a great job. Ronnie Shield, uh, Kevin Barry, the rest of the crew, you know, everybody's work hard. You know, uh, Lennox, I'm here, let's do it. And I'll fight. Will, will you have another fight between now and November, if nothing else, just to try and collect the payday and, and try and, and get into some kind of ring shape because you really can't base anything off of this, can you? Will you take another fight before Lewis in November, the mandatory? Sure, I'd love to. Ronnie, Kevin, Dan, let's get together and, you know, let's get somebody. You know? Like who? Whoever. Well, you obviously don't want to put yourself in a position and risk, your, risk your title shot, but yeah. give us an idea. We are going to fight in July, and quite frankly, with Obed Sullivan, you got to remember, no one's done this to Obed Sullivan. So, I mean, you saw that beautiful left right there. He knocked him out. He's ready to take on anybody. We're going to take on anybody in July, whoever wants to take the fight. He's ready to fight next week. Seriously, I called up Jay Larkin today. Uh, uh, David said he wanted to fight next week. He wanted to make quick work of Obed to be able to work within the rules of the... Jay, tell me in my ear. Is there any shot at that? It's never been done before, Jim. We want to do it. If not, we'll go in July. I don't think he's well receiving that, that offer, but we appreciate it. Congratulations, David. We hope to see you fight again soon, and we hope it's much more of a fight. Thank you very much, and I'd like to uh, thank all the fans out there. Thank you very much, and God bless. All right. Thank you.